Apparently, all over BC, single women from 20 to 70 are asking each other, where are the men? We meet a counselor who runs a dating coaching company called Happy Sexy You. She says, Mr. Wright is right in front of you. You just need to know how to catch him and keep him. Lisa de Lusignon is a lifestyle coach and counselor who teaches women how to flirt, flaunt, go out on great dates, turn on men, and turn themselves into happy, sexy females. If you think there are no men to date in Vancouver, Lisa is here to prove you wrong. It is my pleasure to welcome Lisa de Lusignon from ParadigmTransformations.com to Studio 4 to tell us more. Hi, Fanny. <laughs> well, that was a big intro. <laughs> I was thinking it was a big intro and uh, a lot of pressure on your yeah, it is. beautiful shoulders, I'm <laughs> telling you, because we've all had the all, all of us who are single, yes. we have had this discussion over and over and over again. Yes. Uh, no men, or if there are men, they're gorgeous and gay, mm -hmm. or they're married, or they're diseased, <laughs> or they're too old. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's happened to everybody, and there are those. There are all those, too. And my question is, how many men do you need? <laughs> well, <laughs> depends on who you right? are. You know? Yeah. If so we only, what if you just want one? If you just want one, then part of, the, part of the problem in not beating men is you think there are no men. Mm -hmm. Really, part of it is the way you're thinking, that there are no men. Right. And I used to, when I was single, we would go into the bars, and within five minutes, somebody in our group would say, there's no men in here. Like, okay, if anyone says that, they owe me a drink or they got to buy a round of drinks mm -hmm. because that is not true. Well, there are men in the men. bar, but maybe there's no men you want or the men aren't paying any attention to you. Well, that's true. And then, then we have, mm -hmm. we used to do little coaching sessions in the bar. We'd go, okay, so somebody has to go up and talk to somebody. We would dare people mm -hmm. to do things. There was no negative talk in the bar, right. you know, our little night. In the, and I tell you, it changed. It changed. And it is your perception that there are no men or I can't find them. I can't find a man, I can't find a good man, I or I, like him. I found one, and he said he loved me madly, and then he went away yes. and didn't tell me why. Yeah. And that Don't know too. what happened. <laughs> uh, I was reading Oprah when I was preparing for you, mm -hmm. the new Oprah magazine, mm -hmm. and in it there's some ad love advice, as always, yes. and uh, uh, one woman suggested, okay, uh, find a new route to work. You've got to change up what you do every yes. day. New route to work, uh, new coffee place, new clothes, mm -hmm. <laughs> new neighborhood. Yeah, and that's true. I think that part of it is that you need to expand mm -hmm. your locus of what you're doing in your everyday life. You know, we go to work, we go to our yoga class, we go home. Really, that doesn't change. Every day you do the mm -hmm. same thing. On the weekend, you go for a walk around the seawall, and then you do something else, and it's the same thing over and over again. You need to start expanding into what things you love. Take a cooking class. Take, you know, something new right. that you haven't done before. And I really believe in having a network of, of girlfriends, because Happy Sexy You is working with, with women, and is having a network of, of four or so friends that will give you positive and real feedback on what you think you should be doing, like a network of dating, mm -hmm. of dating, a social support network of what we're going to do new, what we're going to take next okay. to expand. Exactly. So you have a panel of sorts, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and you run it by and say, well, why don't we go to uh, Pilates class? There are men in Pilates. Yes, men love Pilates. Yes, it's a very good thing. Mm -hmm. The golf course. Golf course. Great yes. spot. Yeah. Other places? Well, I think also in taking a course that is going to improve your insides too. Mm -hmm. That's another way to meet people. And there is, there is courses, and because you're doing two things, you're developing yourself a little bit more, you're finding something new about yourself right. that you're going to then take out in the world. And you might meet someone who is also doing some self-development. Sure, energy Which attracts energy. Totally. I've always felt that. Yeah. But there, you know, uh, Ellen Burstyn, who I think is drop dead gorgeous, mm -hmm. for, didn't date a guy for 25 mm -hmm. years. She mm -hmm. was too busy with her career yes. and her kids and, and life, yeah. in essence. And then she met a younger man. Mm. That might be the answer. 15, 20 years younger <laughs> and as happy as a clam. Yeah. Who knew? I don't know yeah. what she changed or what she did differently, but there you go. Um, when women come to you mm -hmm. and they're lonely, 
-hmm. and they've hit rock bottom or mm -hmm. they're confused or they've been dumped or frustrated and they don't want to be hurt anymore and they're just tired. Mm -hmm. Where do you start? I start with what, um, actually what Russ said earlier is your mm -hmm. self-talk. What are you saying to yourself mm -hmm. about what has happened? Because a man dumps you and you're immediately going into those old voices, I'm a loser, it'll never change, I'm stuck with this for life. So the first thing I do is find out what's going on inside. What sure. are those, what's the chatter? I don't trust men, all yeah. men are dopes. They're you, all you, gonna do this, gonna happen again, again. Mm -hmm. um, see, I told you this happened before and now it's happened again. And mm -hmm. it's gonna continue to happen. So I first start there, is what's going on in that head. Exactly. And then start turning those around. And do you look at uh, uh, past relationships, obviously, I mean, I fall in love with men like Norman Mailer. Mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. You know, they're uh, they're intelligent. They're a little yep. bit bad. Yeah, there is definitely they're patterns. wild. They're you know I know the pattern. Yes, yes. And the next step would be uncovering what the patterns are, and then start working to change them because you can you can change mm -hmm. your pattern, and the pattern is connected to what your self talk is. Or find a Norman Mailer type guy who doesn't want to stab you. <laughs> that would be good. Yes. That would be very good. Yes, <laughs> he had a, a few rough patches, but the you know the great brain and all of that yes. and. Uh, it's seductive for yes, some. Yes, it's very as seductive. You know. And a lot of women like bad boys. There's no mm -hmm. doubt about it. Well, there's bad and there's bad. Mm -hmm. you know, there's, there's fun bad. And there's, there's fun bad, bad, bad and there's bad bad. Yes, bad bad you don't want. No, 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 no. Not at all. And if you have a couple of those, then you have to learn the lesson. Yes. And that's mm -hmm. when they end up coming to me privately or taking actual a course. Like in Happy Sexy You, we offer a course relationship readiness. So you're getting ready for relationship. It's before you jump in. Or... Um, 101, mm -hmm. dating 101. So some of the things that you might not know that you're doing wrong in dating. What do women do wrong? Uh, maybe there's a better question. What do men really want? Have you figured that out? What are men, most men, and we can't generalize, mm -hmm. but we can. Mm -hmm. what, do, what are most men looking for? I think men you want think? a confident woman who is going to have somewhat of her, her own life and her own gig mm -hmm. going on. And also being able to contact, make contact with them. If you have so much of your own gig that you can't actually have an authentic connection with a man, then that's, that's too far the other way. And a lot of women get into that. They just work. Their work is their love. And they mm -hmm. can't make authentic connection because they, right. they're working too much. Or you think he's not interested in you. You give an example, I think it was on your website, mm -hmm. about a doctor's office encounter. The man's in the doctor's office and the woman's in the doctor's office and she thinks he's uh, very attractive. Mm -hmm. But she doesn't say anything. Right, because she doesn't think he's interested. Exactly. Yeah. She yeah. thinks, well, first we're in the doctor's office and what, you know, she yeah. just doesn't think. She doesn't make a move, yeah. essentially. And one of the things that I do talk about with women is that they can make eye contact and they can smile at them. And you, you know the cue. Mm -hmm. If you smile at a man and make eye contact, he's already picked up something. And he will either respond or not. Or not. Yeah, but at least you can make one move. You can make a smile and, a, and an eye contact. You just leave it a little bit longer than you would mm -hmm. normally look at someone. I talked to a smart guy the other day, 60-something, and he, he believes, and he said he's finally learned this. Yeah. He might even be 70, I'm not sure, but he's finally learned that women actually open the door. Mm. Yes. And it's, yes. we run the relationship. Yes, if absolutely. We just understood that. Yeah. Like, and the guys get it. Yeah. Like either the door is open or it's yeah. not. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you decide that. You decide that right off. Uh, don't do things uh, to meet men, someone said. Do things that intrigue you mm -hmm. and delight you yes. and challenge you. And if yes. you are uh, doing challenging things and you're delighted and you're hot energy, by your very essence, someone will be attracted to mm -hmm. you. Exactly. Do you believe and that? I, absolutely. I think that, that you have to look at your life as sort of a pie. And mm -hmm. if there's something in the, one of the quadrants that is missing, like you're, you're not doing anything physical with your body, you're not taking care of your health, mm -hmm. or your career is sort of boring, and then you're gonna fill it with somebody else. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is fill up that quadrant, work on the things, personal development, physical, your career, those things, fill up there, and then a man has somewhere to attract. There's something to hit, there's something to attract mm -hmm. him. And you're loving improving yourself. So your life gets better anyway sure. as a single person because you are working on improving yourself.